I'm going to raise a certain period in your life because very early on when you started out, you were a member of the Communist Party. Yes. And then during the McCarthy era, in 1952, you were called to testify before right. the uh, House uh, Committee of American Un-American Activities. Mm. And you actually testified against a lot of people that you'd worked with, and named right. a lot of names. What, what did you hope to gain by that? Gain nothing, and just the truth. The only thing I had to gain was the feeling that I was doing the right thing. I didn't have a damn thing to gain about it. It meant a lot to me to to say that... Uh, but a lot of people didn't do that, did they? They would have protected people that they'd known. Well, they can do it. They, can, they do what they thought was right. I did what I thought was right. I why did you choose that time when you were, in fact, called to testify to speak out? I mean, if you felt as you did, why didn't you say something before? You were, in fact, kicked out of the Communist Party. I mean, were you, in a way, trying to get back at them? Not at all, no, because uh, not until I was actually in the position of making a choice, which is essentially a very difficult choice, did I make it. You never know what you're going to do in those circumstances, Valerie, until you're confronted. You either must do this or that. There are choices in life, Valerie, that either way you go are painful. I didn't like to do it, but I thought when I thought about it very carefully, I thought it was the better of two uh, mean alternatives. Do you regret the decision now that you did that? No, I don't. I'm the opposite. I, uh, since everything has been revealed since then, I feel that anyone who's gone through Czechoslovakia, Hungary, the Nazi-Soviet pack, and all the rest of it, who still goes on that way, uh, uh, shouldn't, shouldn't have sympathy. I think they should be brought up as I was to confront their past and say what they really think. You did in fact lose a lot of friends through that and you were blacklisted for a time. Did it make it more difficult for you to work in Hollywood after that? It did because I had a certain notoriety. It did make it more difficult for me to work but uh, I don't mind losing friends if it's in a good cause and uh, I also gained a lot of friends. A lot of people admired what I did and said uh, it took courage. I think it took more courage to do what I did than I got more disapproval than what uh, the rest of them did.